Uh, you know what, really, it was kind of unscripted there at the beginning. You know, I, I think sometimes, uh, sometimes players think the coaches need to provide all the energy. Players need to provide the energy. And you talk about when momentum's going against you in the game, you know, a player has to step up and bring momentum back to our side. And, you know, we, we come out here and start practice. You know, we've given them a couple days on the field off. Now, we've had them, we had them at 6 o'clock yesterday morning. But on the field, we took a couple of days off and we come out here and we start, you know, a little bit sluggish. So, you know, we just change the tempo on them a little bit and, and try to scrimmage right off the bat. That's not something I normally would do. But, um, you know, you, you come out here and put that helmet on, it's time to go. You know, and the next time, if we're not ready, before we stretch, we won't even stretch. We'll just put the ball down and scrimmage. But I think they got the message. And, uh, you know, I, let me say this. I appreciate, I appreciate their effort. You know, th there's not a question. There's not a question if, if whether they want to do it or not. I mean, they, they, they've proven to me, uh, you know, it's close to 10 o'clock at night. Uh, we had them yesterday morning at 6 o'clock. You know, we're, we're kind of getting through the, the stage of them uh, having to prove they want to do it. Not now we got to get them to do it. You know, physically we have to get better. But I appreciate their effort. You know, they're trying to please. It's just we have so far to go, man. I mean, we have so far to go. Um, so was that calculated you know. on your part, or was it frustration? On your part? No, it wasn't frustration. It's how you change the tempo, right? right. If you come out here and you don't have the tempo, uh, you have to manage the environment. And the only way I know to get the tempo better is to say it's full speed and let's go tackle. You know, if we if we continue to let them ooze around, then they're going to ooze around for two and a half hours out here. Uh, you know, so I just think um, I just think uh, you know we manage the environment out here at practice. And when you come out here at any time, you better ready to put it on and go. And um, you know they'll they'll start to get the idea of what we're asking. Bob, you're saying that the other day that uh, the O line and the D line were just been doing extra work in the weight room. Yeah. Basically, is that because is that something you would have done anyway, or, or did you perceive the lack of No, nah, that's how, you know what, everywhere I've been, you know, like in our meeting room, uh, we have assigned seats, and our offensive linemen and defensive linemen are in the very first row. And I go offense, defense, offense, defense. It's not, you know, there's, there's not offense over here, defense over here. But in anything we do, those linemen are at the front. Uh, you know, they, they, when we travel to games, they're on the first bus, offense and defense. Um, you know, so you win with your linemen. You know, I appreciate the skill guys, uh, but, but you'll win with linemen. And I asked those linemen to do more. And we, we lifted at 6 a.m., uh, offense and defensive linemen. I don't think we had a guy miss. They lifted at 6 a.m. since then they came back on January 18th. Uh, you know what? We're out here with really eight linemen uh, getting every rep in practice. And, you know, we ask them to do more because they need to do more. Because to win, you have to be good up front. And we've got a... You know, we, we've got an unbelievable long way to go. But like I said, I mean, they're, 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 they're trying to do what we're asking them to do. How do you think uh, Emmanuel looks uh, in that? Emmanuel? In that first uh, you talking about Fatacom? Yes. He made a long run. Yeah. But, uh, you know, again, you know, schematically, we're, I don't, I'm not minimizing what he did. Anytime a guy takes a ball and goes a long way for a touchdown, it's, it's a heck of a play. But we're not really matched up schematically with defensive calls against the right offensive formations and those kind of things. Uh, but again, I mean, there's been some productivity. You know, we, we, we you know, I, I, I think we do have some playmakers. You know, we got some guys that can make some plays if we can execute. You know, but, uh, um, you know, so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to get overexcited about it, but, but uh, he made a big run, there's no doubt. Does he have the potential to, to really be a playmaker? Yeah, you know what, I've seen some good things on special teams. And I think if there's one area um, where I see guys making just fundamental improvement, it's special teams. And Faticom's one of those guys I see. Them. You know, whether it's, whether it's kickoff coverage, kickoff return, punt protection, you know, Faticom's a guy that's showing some individual technique. And that, that's where it all starts. You know, we talked about the offense and defensive line. For me, nothing shows the chemistry of your team more than those special teams. And we're asking every guy on this team to to be a part of it. And I've been pleased with his, you know, with his effort on special teams. Coach, next year, turf on the field, all but two teams in the conference play on grass. Think that'll give your team a little bit of an advantage? Man, we're just trying to make a first down. Right now, it doesn't matter if we play in quicksand or if we play on concrete, honestly. You know, that's, that's way down the road for me. You know, I, I don't, 
we're not even in a stage yet to worry about if a team has an advantage or a disadvantage. We're only worried about one team, and that's the team out here. So, uh, you know, bottom line, I mean, we got an artificial surface right there indoors. We got grass here. We practice in both. We're going to play on both. It's, it, that'll be the, that'll be way down the list of things I ever worry about.